<laughs> What's up, man? What's the deal? <laughs> What's up? No doubt. <laughs> What's really going on? <laughs> I feel like I won a beauty contest. <laughs>
actually thought that it might have been, might have been kind of, you know, boring, you know what I mean? But once we got there, it was like, the, his, the history behind it is what intrigued all of us, you know what I mean? If you look to your right, you'll see Camp Boniface's world famous one hole golf course. This was featured in 1988 Sports Illustrated as being one of the most dangerous golf courses in the world. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? The Army guys are over there doing what they do, you know, but and realizing that some of these guys do it 365 days a year, 24-7, is incredible to us. Our mission is really and truly no different. We're not special, uh, but because of our mission, it requires us to be here, and it requires that the soldiers don't have the freedom that when they get off of work to throw on cities and then go downtown. Right. Anywhere else, they can do it, right. you know, but here, it's, it's very difficult to do that because of what the mission is that we've got. Right. So I just want to comp it so I know where it's north so I don't go that way pretty much. All right, gentlemen, um, this is Conference Road, the meeting place between the north and the south. It gives, honestly, you know, me a, a different respect for these people, you know, these, these kids, man, who, who are out here and um, who are trained and who are looking at adversity every day. You know, it's right across the street. It was like literally right across the street. See this white stake right here? It's really hard to see the snow. Yes, yeah. That's um, the actual border, the north and south border. Really? Yeah. So if you cross that stake, you're in the north. So the line splits those buildings? Yeah. Are we going to move straight in the building, please? General, welcome to the MAC building, where the four original types of meetings essential to the supervision of the ceasefire agreement were held. These microphones on the table are monitored and recorded 24 hours a day, so everything said inside this building can be heard by the North Koreans. The microphone and cord running down the center of the table represents the military demarcation line, or the border, and is further extended to my front and my rear by a 17 by 5 inch concrete slab. Please feel free to cross into the north at any time with inside this building. You may have noticed that there are guards posted inside this building. They are here for your protection. They are standing at the position of modified Taekwondo, or what we call rock ready. The soldiers you saw posted outside the building are standing half unexposed to present less of a target in case they were to be fired upon. I say you do not interfere with their duties at any time. And on behalf of the soldiers here in the JSA, as well as myself, uh, to show our appreciation, it's a small token, but it's a token that uh, the hope is that you guys will never forget it because this, I'm stepping over into the north, which I very rarely do, okay? And you gotta come north to get it, okay? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, this, you'll always remember this piece of headgear because you received this headgear in North Korea. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Just, just throw it. Yeah, just, just I'll catch you. Cool. Thanks, dude. We're officially in North Korea. That's they thing, man. That's they thing. North Korea is listening to us right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. They have microphones in here, so everything that we Watch say, what you say, North Korea can hear it. So that's what's crazy, man. We hate to like kind of make it a joke because it really is not a but, joke. But, but at the same time, it's, you have to look at it that way to a degree. It's like I mean, even the it's flag a table, holes. right? It's a table. One's on the north, <laughs> and one's on the south. The people on the south are not allowed on to go north. on the side of the north. That is the, I mean. I've, I've heard in the of hood, things like that's I've, what it's like. I mean, it, but basically, when we come in, we lock that door, push the guard. When they come in, they lock this door, push the guard, basically do the tour. Because y'all can't talk. Right? Yeah, basically, we can't talk to them, so it's, 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 it's understood. It's a rich, rich game. Yeah, let's, let's, let's give the North Koreans something that. Uh, yeah, this is actually something real special because yeah, of the fact that, you know, North Korea seems to be such an isolated country. Um, <laughs> we're not sure, you know, who or what they listen to. So, um, right. you know, hopefully this is uh, something that even North Korea can somewhat enjoy, just a little bit of a sample that we'll give
to say Bye. goodbye. Bye. Wow. Just a little bit. <laughs> some ooze. Hope y'all felt just some that. ooze. Yeah. Just, just ooze. think that, you know, being in a place so isolated and still being able to maintain discipline and be in control and be on point at any given second, you know, it takes a very strong person to, to you know, go away from his family and decide that, you know, I'm going to stay up here for 365 days of the year. So when you finish your shot, you can move straight out. Thank you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to take a shot. First of all, a lot of constantly counterfeit by my fans and kind of, you know, it makes us feel real good that you spend time coming to see us. You know, I've been here for 10 months and a half, and uh, this is the best thing that that's happened yeah, here. We don't get no action here. We're always working. So it's pretty hard for us to come out and uh, just to get the swim is good. All right, listen up, man. Listen up. Listen up. 
when that other Humvee comes up, and then we're going to have other people sitting around on the Humvee watching the performance. So starting here all the way back around, we'll uh, be lined up in a horseshoe formation. Hook. 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 Be careful now. Don't break your head open. Just to see the, the, uh, the soldiers up there and how they vibe with it. What's up, y'all? They really felt the music that we were singing. And you could almost see how they missed their homes in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? You missed, they missed what they used to hear, you know what I mean, while they were home. And, you know, even some of the people just saying, man, thank you, man. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Roll A, B, and C. Roll audio. And, you know, we're glad we could be there for them.
just showed up. It was nice. It was nice. Well, yeah, that boy can blow. He can sing. One of the highlights of my having been up here for the last year. This was real cool. I enjoyed myself, actually. I had a great time. The men here are brave and, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was nice. You know what I mean? Real cool people. This morning we went to uh, the Secret Garden, or as the Koreans said, Chungbukgung. It was a big place, man. Yes. The king had it going on. Yes, he did. But if this is the back part where the Secret Garden is, they built it so that the public cannot go into this palace because it's mm. the Secret Garden. It's for head forbidden from access. So what they did, if you go inside, if you look around, you have lakes, you have pavilions, you have houses. And this this secret garden is known for its architectural excellence. Like every roof, every gate, every pillar, it, it has the traditional Korean beauty in it. it you can't mm. see this anywhere else. Mm. People were not allowed here. This was just for royalty. This was their chill out spot. I'm looking for a new screensaver. <laughs> I've been working on this uh, place for about a good um, 20 years, and I'm 27, so I started when I was seven. Um, and uh, look at it now. Um, as you see on the, uh, the uh, little circle things that I, that I made, there are flowers on there, and I, I hand painted each of those. It took me three days to do um, every last one of these uh, things we got right here. And um, on the top of the buildings, I made stuff. Stuff, you see the stuff on the top of the buildings? If you get a chance to look up there, I've been um, designing this type of stuff forever. Watch your step, don't uh, fall. I, I put this here for the, uh, when the Japanese came, so they could trip. <laughs> when they tried to attack, but they got through anyway. Wow, man, that's crazy nice. Yeah, this is where the king used to just sit and just rule. They have heat in that joint? That's what I asked. He was just in the cold, huh? <laughs> In that, in that room was where I guess uh, the king at the time basically made his decisions and administered and ruled. This is cool, man. It makes you want to knock down all the modern buildings. <laughs> Probably somewhere being solemn. Huh? Yeah, he's been solemn all day. I just been vibing him from a distance. <laughs>